You know, I have to say doing this show has been really liberating in a way. Jennifer Aniston returns as anchor Alex Levy alongside Reese Witherspoon as fellow anchor Bradley Jackson and more stars in season two of The Morning Show. The game is changing. My job is to ensure the stability of UBA. Alex, I need you to come back. You are the only thing that can save us. The cast spoke to The Hollywood Reporter all about the new season of their award-winning series, which picks up nine months after the dramatic events of the season one finale. How has your character changed since the last time we saw them? Oh boy, I think she has just taken some serious me time and uh, having some deep reflection. And I think she's really just trying to take a hard look at what happened. He has gone from being a person who is wildly invested in disrupting the power structures that people take for granted to becoming a pillar of those uh, power structures himself. I feel like season one was all about the storm before the revolution and season two is now, okay, the revolution happened, who's in charge and what are the rules? And we're all kind of navigating that as a group of, of you know, co-workers and just then all the other stuff that's happening in our personal lives is also all over the place. The Apple TV Plus series about a morning news show once again tackles timely and newsworthy issues. A season two takes place during the first months of 2020, leading up to the COVID-19 pandemic-induced lockdowns in the U.S. And even though so much is going on with these characters, we the audience also know there is this other major threat looming. How did it feel to relive that time? It was juicy. It was meaty. I think it, it like you said, it, it sort of ripened the environment for us to get all the way through the season because the audience knows what's coming, but none of the characters do, right? It's almost like you're watching a horror film where the audience knows the monster is right around the corner, but the uh, characters don't. Um, and as they are sipping from each other's water glasses and coughing on each other, you know, the audience gets to say, stop, stop, what are you doing? You know, and that was a very clever way to approach it. By the time we started shooting season two, we had to reshoot what we'd shot before. We'd, we'd had to stop shooting because of the shutdown naturally. And then the writers had to go away and, and carry Aaron and the writers had to reconceive the entire second season because we're a topical show and they had to incorporate COVID into some fashion. It was really surreal to then play a character who's reporting on things that were that had just happened a few months ago. And so sometimes we would hit cut on a scene and I was like, wow, that was so four months ago. That was pretty wild. This season also addresses the systemic racism within the culture at the morning show's home network, UBA. The stars opened up about the importance of tackling that topic this season. The network doesn't think you have the it factor. We're looking to showcase some other talent. Do you know what the problem with racism is? You don't fix it by pretending to want to fix it. We are living through um, what was one of the greatest moments of racial reckoning in uh, American history. So, you know, something that moved America and the world as much as it did, and a show that is talking about current topics, we had to uh, begin and start. When well, I begin, we talked about it a little bit last season, but we needed to further the conversation and that dialogue. Uh, and I was honored that we were able to do that uh, through the lens of Daniel. In corporate America, it was just a ripe environment to get down to a nuanced conversation about what it looks like for you know, people of color to be chosen in this environment that is almost entirely white and the pressures and uh, the difficulties and challenges that they deal with in trying to be their best selves in the midst of what feels like to be a constant hostility uh, being thrown at them on the day-to-day -day basis. Onward and upward. You're a dynamo out there. I don't think they're using you in the right way. Some new faces join the cast in season two, including Juliana Margulies, who plays Laura Peterson, a news anchor who presents some challenges for Alex and Bradley. I think the biggest challenge my character poses to them is the fact that she has no skeletons in her closet and she's completely comfortable in her skin. Both Alex and Bradley go on their own journeys this season of becoming comfortable in their own skin and not caring so much about how they're perceived by others. Given their decades spanning careers, the stars opened up about when they hit that point in their own lives. I think it's just a lifelong thing for me too, like learning that I don't have to please everybody, um, that I don't have to make everybody happy, that you can't make everybody happy. I think that's such a journey and such an important place to land at. I can't remember when it's, I remember a girlfriend saying to me, 40 is so great. It's gonna just change your world. And so maybe it was in my forties that I started to feel that way.
I know everyone's afraid of aging, but when I turned 50, I've never felt more empowered in just being myself and not caring what anyone else thinks. That's a work in progress always. I mean, you know, I have to say doing this show has really, and playing a character who is going through as much as she is going through and has to expose and be as raw as she is. And there is such a effort kind of mindset that she's in, uh, has been really liberating in a way. Season two of The Morning Show premieres September 17th on Apple TV+. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.